live at Mulan's Village Beach. At presently, I am president of Beach Sports Club. We have been in existence for the past 14 years. This is our 15th year. Mm -hmm. We participate in competitions organized by the Trinidad and Tobago Cricket Board, South East Zone. We are in the senior division, which is the top division. Before the lights came, normally you would, you would practice on an evening. We would practice on evenings. Between one would say between the hours of three until the light. Three until the light permits. After that, we had to pack up and go. The courts had lights. And what happened is a number of people would come in during the night time and engage in some activities on the courts. Uh, basketball, small goal. The courts even provided, that is the net, the basketball court, some lights up to a certain part of the ground where the guys would come out and have some small goal football. They would participate in small goal football. But um, we welcome the lights here very much because I want to tell you, Bish has a lot of talent. I always say Bish has talent in a number of areas, be it sports, be it culture, be it music, whatever. Very, very talented people here. We have had some outstanding performances by some of our younger people. We had Brenton Barbosa, who um, made the national team, the under 17 national team, he went to South Korea. Recently, we had Martin Bidesi representing the national team at cricket in 2014 in the under-15 um, regional competition. So the latest addition to the list is Navin Vidis. But we are happy, we are very happy to have the ground, to have the lights, because I want to let you know that um, I believe that we will see greater participation in activities here. Already, the captain of our cricket team Jose Morales and one or two other senior members of the team have called on the players to come out at night now and do some serious work. Come out and practice so that we can perform better, we can elevate ourselves and at the end of the day probably emerge first, second or third in the competition. But we are happy, we are grateful, or shall I say we are thankful for the lights. Um, it is not going to be, they are not going to be a white elephant as such, because rest assured, there are a lot of people in the community who come out here at nights for some form of recreation. You have some people running, some jogging, and with the advent of the lights now, I think it will be, there will be greater participation. So I want to say thanks very much to the Ministry of Public Utility and to the government of the day for giving us these facilities, or these amenities.